What's up my people, Lush here, back again with another YouTube video. We're in London right now, Hackney Wick to be specific. We're gonna check out Mighty Munch Chicken Shop right here. We're doing our own little version, Pengus Munch, Australian version. Never done before. I've never had a chicken shop experience, so this will be my first. I'm really excited. I've gone this long on my trip without having a chicken shop experience because I wanted to save it for you guys. Now we do it, let's see how we go. I got four wings, a fillet burger, and some chips, and a drink for six pounds, solid. Happy with that, heading over to the park now. Stay tuned. I'm in my London uniform today, full tech fleece. Have to do it for the culture, but we're not here for the culture. Oh, well, we are kind of, because chicken shop is kind of culture. So I waited all this time for my chicken shop video, and here we are. Got my four wings right here. Burger. And I'm assuming the fries are in there as well because they're not in here. I hope. I don't know who they are. We start with the fries. The bag. Okay. We're going to start off with packaging. Horrible. Paper bag for chips. Are you mad? The grease is just going to be ridiculous. These are going to be different levels of, of moist. Of, and not that good moisture, you know, when you bite into it and there's like a bit of moisture with the potato. No, this is going to be horrible day old chips moist. Yeah, no salt whatsoever. Definitely should have added salt myself. Rookie mistake. They're giving me McDonald's fries vibes. Texture-wise, McDonald's fries, same thing. Fine, I'll accept it. Good little crunch on the bite. I would have liked them to be thicker. These aren't my favorite kind of fries. There's not a lot of consistency from chip to chip. It, does, it has been varying. Not the best chips I've ever had. Let's see if there's salt in this bag. Oh, there is. They're new. There is salt. Give it a bit of um, pepper, some salt into it. You know what I mean? Like the action of peppering, but it's salt. Now we give it a good mix. There we go again. See, now that's better. It's giving McDonald's fries flavors and all. But I still would have liked more consistency between them, crunchier and thicker fries. Honestly, fries. Out of five, I'm gonna have to give them, we'll say with the salt, we'll say a 2.9. Not enough for a three. They were a 2.5 bang average chips. Without the salt, the salt elevated them that, that much, but because it was only the salt elevating it, I can't give it more than a 2.9, but we move. Now on to the burger. Looks good, to be honest. Nice little chunk of fillet, just bigger than the bun. Toasted bun, it seems. Good little fillet size. Mayo proportions. Mayo looking very good on both sides of the bun. Nice little lettuce job on the bottom. Let's give it a go. It is a bit dry, but the burger isn't dry. The fillet is dry. The chicken content of the fillet itself is very good. It's no excess crumbing, no excess skin, just like chilling on it. Second bite is better. I've gotten to more sauce at that point. Can we appreciate how nice the weather is in London? I found it so hard to dress while on this trip because I packed for like colder weather. This is not what I packed for, so I've really been struggling. That's a good shit. I haven't had that in so long. Burger is quite enjoyable, but the consistency of the bites isn't there because not every bite has the same amount of mayo, unfortunately. That's what's taking away from the dryness of the chicken. Maybe if it was fresher chicken, it'd be different, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna say fillet burger. 
3.4. It's really yummy, actually. It is really good. Good chicken quality. Just a bit dry. Let me a little tad overcooked, but it's good. Good crumbing as well. Look at that. Yum. Good mayo, good lettuce amount, and the presentation. It was all there. The burger did not fall apart on me. So I can't complain. Now, onto the wings. Upon inspection, they look very good. Very nice bit of crumbing. And they just look very juicy. A bit of alopecia right there, but we can live with it. You know, it looks like a very solid wing. I don't know why, I, just, I keep catching myself talking like an esports commentator. Does anyone else do that? If you guys do that, let me know in the comments. So, let's do it. Spice is very nice. Bit of black pepper, you can taste it. Needs more Scovilles, in my opinion. Meat content, not excellent. That was the first bite, wasn't that deep, and I got bone. See the other side. You can tell that's a healthy chicken. Chicken worked out a lot. Didn't smoke, didn't drink. Meat quality, very good. The crumbing is actually great. And like I said, I can't fault the chicken quality. There is a bit of spice when you take the bigger bites. I would have liked more Scoville still. Overall, that's a fucking great wing to be fair. Really yummy wing. That has shocked me, you know. That has shocked me. Oh my god. It's so juicy and yummy. And the crumbing is great and the... Mm. It's actually really good. The fries are the only letdown for me, man. The wings are great. The burger was good. The wings are really yummy. I might bring my own Tabasco or something next time to add that extra kick. But in terms of chicken quality, crumbing, temperature, meat content, it's a healthy chicken. You can tell it was raised well, good family, solid home. These wings, I'm gonna, honestly, honestly, I'm gonna give these like a, a 4.1. And I was really close to saying 4.2. Don't know why I didn't, to be fair. We'll say 4.2, because they're actually that good. They're really yummy wings. 4.2, 100%. I'm gonna be going back to get more, by the way. They're really yummy. All of this as well, by the way, for six pound is mad. Probably $10, Australian dollars. That's mad. Find me somewhere in Australia you can have a meal like this for $10. Overall, Mighty Munch, Hackney Wick, very yummy, very enjoyable. Chips let him down very massively. Not because they're bad, but because everything else was so good. Overall, for Mighty Munch, gonna have to be 3.6. No, I take that back. 3.8, very solid. I would have given it a four, but the place was in shambles. So, in terms of vibe of the place, not amazing. But you know, he got the job done on multiple fronts in many ways, carried this meal as well. We got boss man, he was nice enough. This has been Australian Pengus Munch, non-copyright. Without further ado, I've been Loosh. If you guys know any other chicken shops I can try while in London, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Before I let you guys go, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you know every time I post. Sending peace, love, and positivity. Always, I'm out.